All right, so this is going to be a short video of what my MTH locomotive is doing. Um, I got it hooked up to one of the Athern or not Athern Atlas articulated cars. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in uh, forward, and I'm going to put it up. Just go ahead and give it some some power, and it's already on the cycle. You can tell it's not moving. A couple of seconds, it takes off all on its own and I'm just leaving the controller right there and there it goes, it notches down does the brake squeal, stops all by itself <coughs> MTH has advised me that this is possibly something that could have happened with programming so the next step is I'm going to do a 5-5 five, five, reset on this locomotive so I'm gonna bring it back around to put it in reverse give it a little bit more throttle <coughs> she's probably gonna come flying back around here from auto Rex. <coughs> and there we go <coughs> excuse me alright so according to MTH um, the next thing, the correct thing to do with this is we're going to do um, select loco we're going to do select loco um, 55 so selecting loco 55 All right? and then we're going to hit program until we get to ops mode. And then we're supposed to hit steps. Type in 55. Hit steps again. Hit 55. And then push the CV right button. 
And this is supposed to do a reset on the locomotive. Alright, so that's the way it was explained to me, the way it's supposed to work. I'm going to exit. I'm going to um, recall. Loco. I'm going to select loco. Three. And this should reset it to through to the address to three. So I'm going to put it in forward because before it was on 83. And let's see if this works. All right, we're on three now. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going forward. We're going to see if it does that stopping thing again that it was doing. Nothing yet. Got my fingers crossed. Oh, looks like we're actually doing all right. Might actually be able to make a train video. I'm learning a little bit about this DCC thing. Um, it's kind of hard, but I'm learning a little bit here and there as we go. Turn the headlight on. And the ditch light or the number boards. Probably a little bit more throttle. Now sometimes it derails on this turnout over here because I put the um, McHenry couplers in. <coughs> I don't know if it'll derail or not. Probably should slow it down so it doesn't. See if it makes it through there. Check that out, it made it through. But um, I don't know if you caught that in the video, but it actually hit the Atlas switch machine. So I'm gonna have to remove that Atlas switch machine. But that fixed the problem right there on the video. I, I did not try that before, actually. Um, I just videoed the process so that if anybody else has a similar problem, then, you know, there you go. A lot of uh, problems with MTH engines probably could be fixed by doing that reset. So now that the engine's on um, address three, I can use the same process, except I will be programming locomotive three. Um, use the same process to change the number to whatever number I want it to be. And also um, adjust anything else that's I think you can put in CV29 to enable four-digit addressing. I'm not sure how that works yet, but maybe if I find it out, I'll make a video about it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Later.